Hey, what's up guys? This is Tony Gebhardt from I Am Link Giants. I'm going to do a small playing review on the M Audio Oxygen 49 MIDI controller. I have this hooked up through GarageBand, so you can hear it at a professional quality, so it at least sounds good. Here's an awesome, cool piano plugin I actually installed not too long ago, but um, I thought, you know, why not? Sweet piano stuff. And then um, if I can get GarageBand to cooperate, why don't we do some drums? Let me find a good drum kit on GarageBand. And um, let's see. as drums it's usually what I do for my recordings is um I don't have a drum set with me so I have to program the drums through the MIDI controller let me find you something really cool though let me show you guys the normal kit I normally use it's called the studio heavy kit it's in garage band let me see if I can pull this up and if it'll load come on you can load all right there we go But yeah, there's that kit. See, each key has its own little designated thing. Pretty much you got that thing going on. But no, it's a nice keyboard. It's got its um, pitch bender, nice uh, module to a uh, to uh, adjust the you know the vibrato thing going on. And it's got its numerous mixing things. It's got two active buttons. I got it for about 180. Um, originally, I think it's like 200 at Guitar Center, but they were having one of their one of numerous sales that they have going on. But I thought it was pretty sweet to get my hands on it. I recommend this keyboard to any upcoming musician, any DJ, a musician. You know, if you're into the whole dubstep thing. But um, let me actually. Do an example of recording for you. Normally, I, I haven't done one of these yet, but let me find a, a cool, like, dubstep kit. Uh, Paris House Remix. This is a sort of like a dubstep, uh, dubstep kind of kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record something here. I'm going to record like a track, all right? Here we go. Okay. So what's going to happen? I'm going to press the space bar. It's going to be playing back to me. That was like one track. And I wish I could share the screen so I could show you exactly how this works, but I don't think I can show me and the screen at the same time. But anyway, so what we're going to do it. pause that. We're going to make a new track. We're going to make a new track. Let's see here. What, 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 CJ, what, what, what should we do? Should we do like a little synthy thing? Should we get a piano in there? Let's do the synthy thing. All right, let's pull up a synth. My friend CJ is here with me. Sorry, I didn't introduce Howdy. him. Howdy. We're going to find a cool, cool, cool little synth. Let me see. I got tons. There's at least three, four hundred of them here. Uh, brr, brr. <laughs> America. Hold on. I got this. I like that. Let's use that. We're gonna use this as a bass type thing for the dubstep thing, all right? All right, let's try this, let's do it. Just 
just like that. So we're gonna play it over. Pretty sweet. We're gonna pause that. And we're let's play let uh let's create another track. Create and then I have my hands on my keyboard, which is right, or not this keyboard, my uh, laptop keyboard, and voiceover is talking to me so I can do this. Or we're gonna come up, we're gonna we're gonna look for a lead, something we could use for like a lead type thing, you know? All right. Turn that down just a little bit. I like that. Let's, let's do some adjusting, like, effects here. How about we add some delay? What about some reverb? Perfect, I like that. All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna go to the beginning again, and we're gonna add on, check this out. And there you go. So let's listen back to it. Well, pretty much you just heard the whole thing with that thing. Actually, you know what? Let's add one more. Let's, let's add one more thing. Add some piano. How about that? Piano sound good? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Find a piano. I like that. That one sounds good. All right. Perfect. Let's go to the beginning. Record. Let's see if, wait, no. Oh. All right. Basically, like I said, this is called multi-tracking, where you do multiple tracks to make a song. And that's pretty much what the digital world is like nowadays in studios. Let's do it, here we go. Here's the piano. All right, anyway, thanks, guys. This is the M-Audio Oxygen 49 MIDI controller. Go pick it up at Guitar Center. It's about $199. You, well, not used. I'm sorry. I got this one brand new, but I was having a, they were having one of their sales, but I'm not sure what the retail price is. Probably around $299, but it's a good, it's honestly amazing. I promise. All right. Thanks, guys. Stay blessed. Leave some feedback. Tell me what you think.